Okay, guys, so we have the most recent labs here. These were from 120 days post testosterone, um, taken on March 15th. So I got more extensive labs here. This is, uh, I got a cancer panel to show some tumor markers and things like that. So the one that's the really fascinating thing here that you're going to see is first thing you're going to see cardio CRP, that's uh, C reactive protein. C reactive protein measures the inflammation, level of in inflammation in the body. So if this is elevated at all, it just means something's going on in your body. And if it's elevated to a significant degree, it can be something as serious as cancer. So it won't tell you what your issue is, but it will tell you if something's going wrong in your body and you need to get more, get it looked into as far as ultrasounds or something else. So my cardio CRP, which uh, Derek from More Plates, More Dates, Leo, uh, Rex, all those guys, they talk about this as the more important marker as far as how your body's doing in general, how strong your cardiovascular system is. So I have the lowest level possible here, which is 0.3 or less than 0.3. So less than 0.3, that's as low as you could go. I have no issues there. Um, that's really good. Glucose was 88 here, which I've fasted now for 24 hours, 24 to 30 hours once a week for the last month. So my glucose is, has been 89, 89, and 88. So it, not a ton of improvement there. Um, I may try metformin to bring it down. We will see about that. This is the lowest my kidney markers have ever been in my entire life. So they're just continuing to improve. Uh, blood urea, nitrogen, BUN, 13. Creatinine, 1.03. It's never been that low. It's gone now in the last three months from 1.19 to 1.09. And then down to, or I think it might have been, yeah, 1.09. And then down to 1.03. GFR now is up to 98. So my goal was to get under... 1.00 creatinine and under a, and over 100 GFR and I'm almost there. So hopefully on the April 15th labs, we'll knock that out. I'm still taking the Leviathan kidney support, which I honestly think is a phenomenal supplement because my kidney markers have just kept improving. So I really think that one works. I swear by that one. <clears throat> I still don't really know what's going on here with globulin. I might have to, to see if there's an issue there, but I'm not too worried about that. AST and ALT are still lower than they were. 19 is lower than 21 AST was at. 25 remain the same for ALT. Still taking 300 milligrams of Tudco a week, but I'm going to bump that up to 600 and see if I can get ALT under 20 as well. So that stuff's good. This is just a uh, copy because I did two, la two panels here. PSA 0.2, um, so no prostate cancer or anything. Prostate's in really good health, which is <laughs> obviously that's ideal when you're you know, less than 30 years old, you don't want to have issues there. But 0.2 is really good. Estradiol now is actually on the on the charts. So estradiol, the last two blood tests, or less, yeah, last two blood tests was below 15. It wasn't even registering. There was no estrogen. Now it's up to 15, which is just because my testosterone levels have gone up. So I believe my testosterone levels will climb even higher until estrogen gets in that 30, even upwards of 50 range, and then it'll stabilize. Because when your body's not producing much estrogen, it signals to your pituitary gland to produce more testosterone. So basically, until your estrogen gets to a certain point, if you're not on like an estrogen blocker, your testosterone will continue to rise. So I think maybe it could get even higher next month. FSH 4.5, it was 4.4 on the last test. It's not much of a change there. I did a urinalysis. Everything came back normal, which is good. Iron 111. So that's in the normal range. But I know... Uh, Leo Rex, he likes to talk about getting iron as low as possible to reduce cancer risk. So he says you don't actually want high iron levels. Now, the interesting thing, LH went from 3.3 to 2.8. It went down, which I'm not 100% sure why that happened, but it's interesting. Um, white blood cell count is in, it's at the very low end, but I think my immune system, this is the strongest it's ever been. So my body's not really having to fight off much. So I think that's why my white blood cells are, are low, like... Just overall health is more efficient. My immune system is more efficient. Red blood cell count was low. Hemoglobin was low. Hematocrit was low. Those all tie together. Um, and I do get dizzy when I stand up sometimes and after deadlift sets because my hematocrit and red blood cells are so low. But I was also pretty hydrated coming into this blood test. So that may have skewed things and made the hematocrit numbers a little lower. Let's keep going down. So remember I talked about absolute eosinophils were never 
we're always elevated for like six years. Um, another inflammation marker in the body. 293, they keep going down. That's the lowest they've ever been. This said rate is like a test for, it's another cancer test. I, I gotta, it, I think it's another inflammation marker. You can read about it. That was good. The interesting one here, it's his total testosterone up to 361 from 168. So it more than doubled again, which is crazy. It quadrupled from day 60 to day 90, and it more than doubled from day 90 to day 120. So it just keeps going up, which is awesome. CEA is carcinal embryonic antigen, and it's a tumor marker, and it's 3.0, which is i've seen scales and i talked to vigor steve about this that go up to 5.0 so i'm not going to sweat it too much given that everything else is in pretty good shape but ideally i would like to have that lowered a little bit as it's a, a tumor marker for like pancreatic cancer and some stomach cancer and some other things but i'm not going to worry about it too much it's not crazy elevated like if it was like you know 10 plus we might have some problems but everything else checked out and it's just slightly elevated so probably not a huge deal but that is the blood work for this month guys um the only supplements i'm taking um and i'm only taking natural supplements like i said people keep asking this i've been off testosterone for 120 days at the time of this test so now it's 124 days so the only supplements i'm taking are 10,000 i use of vitamin d3 500 micrograms of uh, vitamin k2 mk7 three 600 milligrams now of tudka i bumped it up recently uh, four capsules of Le Leviathan kidney support every day. Um, I'm trying to remember. Sorry. Fish oil, I take six grams of that a day, and that is it right now. So those are all the supplements. But, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, give it an up vote, subscribe, all the things.